So I am super stoked, guys. This is the Dead Space Collector's Edition from Limited Run. So this Collector's Edition was only available through the website Limited Run. Uh, you had to pre-order the, uh, the Collector's Edition before they even started manufacturing it. So I decided I needed to get a copy of this one. Even though I don't have a PS5, uh, I needed to have this just in case in the future I get a PS5 and I get the Dead Space remake. I will have the Collector's Edition. I don't believe that this will be available later on. Uh, one thing that's really cool about this is it's the same Collector's Edition, whether you get it for PS5 or for Xbox. Uh, I just recently got this Collector's Edition in the mail, but back when the game came out on shelves, they sent the game separately. So if you get this collector's edition, it is the same collector's edition uh, on Xbox as it is PS5. Uh, they sent the game loose. So what I ended up doing with it, since I don't have a PS5 and I can probably get the game for cheaper later on when I finally do get a PS5, I took it to Walmart. I told them that I don't have a receipt for it. And uh, I used the store credit to get Pokemon Violet on the Switch. So I might upload some, uh, some of that later on. The first item inside the collector's edition is this steelbook, and I am a, a super fan for steelbooks. I love steelbooks, and the Dead Space remake steelbook looks really nice with its minimalist design. That is my art style, so I love uh, the minimalist design of it. The next thing inside is uh, a lithograph of one of the scenes from the concept art. I did my best to take off the sticker without making any residue because I do want to keep this collector's edition as close to mint as possible. Super important to me. The inside of this is one lithograph of concept art from the PlayStation 3 version of uh, Dead Space because this is the PS5 remake of that game. What I love about this lithograph is that is the same image that I had as my wallpaper on my desktop for a long time. Because the PS3 version of Dead Space, it is my favorite game of all time, setting aside my, uh, my love for Final Fantasy VIII on PS1. The next item inside the collector's edition is uh, a couple of these like artwork sleeves, which looks like it's promoting stuff uh, within the game. Uh, you know, because Isaac, he is a repair guy, and what he's wearing is a space suit, so... And he's not the only one that wears it, so... It's a bunch of funny stuff. I decided not to open it because I didn't feel comfortable with the... How, how hard the sticker was. The, uh, the patch looks really nice. I might be attaching that. Uh, the marker pin is really cool. It's got two uh, pin attachments, so it doesn't spin on you. Uh, both of those I might be putting to use. Uh, the next item inside is actually pretty cool. It is super duper heavy. I was surprised at how heavy it was. I've dropped it at least three times now. <laughs> it is a replica marker, and it is made out of solid, solid uh, metal. It is super heavy. Like I said, I've dropped it like at least three times now. Uh, luckily, it has not chipped or anything like that. The uh, next item is the Dead Space soundtrack, which is amazing, of course, because it sets the ambiance to the entire video game. Uh, the only other soundtrack I would say is better than Dead Space would be Doom, of course, right, guys? Uh, but inside the entire foam piece, this is the reason why I absolutely had to have the Collector's Edition for the Dead Space remake on PS5. I had to have it. So on one side, it is this uh, artwork, which I tried to take off, but it is really secure on there. And I was feeling rushed while recording the video because this is like moments after it arrived in the mail. I wanted to get this video up as fast as possible for you guys. I did not feel comfortable removing that artwork from the box because Keeping this stuff in mint condition is super important to me, and I don't see myself actually doing anything with the artwork other than storing it. So the foam itself is wrapped in just regular tape. So I just used my keys to split it open. I totally didn't think that I was going to need something sharp nearby. 
Uh, so I, I should have had a razor blade ready, but my keys will suffice. All right, popping off the back piece, the last two parts, uh, I decided I was going to try to fold it open instead of taking the artwork off, so that did work. And inside is exactly why I needed this collector's edition. I had to have this collector's edition because it has a replica helmet that Isaac wears in the Dead Space remake. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's made out of a hard plastic. It has a uh, minor scuffing on it to make it look weathered and used, but that's part of the, the style of the helmet. It's not pristine. It's meant to look like it's been in use. So this is his helmet that he uses to pre protect himself from space because the game does take place in space. He's a repair guy. Uh, and the face mask is very much like what a welder would use uh, to protect his eyes. What's really amazing is that this is a one-for-one -one helmet. So you could set it up somewhere uh, and, and, and have it just look awesome. Or you could actually wear it. See, it's got a, a dial you can spin and straps that you can put it down on your head. It's got a little pull tab for the battery so the battery doesn't leak or anything. I pulled it out, turned it on. The inside is lit up with the teal lighting, the LEDs that uh, Isaac uses in the game to be able to see in the dark. So this, this had me fanboying pretty hard. Uh, as you can see, I'm cheesing pretty hard. There's my bald spot. I'm getting old, guys. But not too old to be a fanboy. <laughs> yep, the helmet is one for one. It looks amazing. It feels amazing. I'm the biggest nerd in the world. <laughs> but I am super happy with it. I'm not sure if these will be available again in the future. That's why I grabbed it. Even though I don't have a PS5 at the moment, I was not going to miss this opportunity at getting this amazing collector's edition.